representing Tracksmith, Mason Furlick. You can point out Mason Furlick from a mile away. He's the tallest one out there. Hurdles are 36 inches tall and I pretty much have like a 36 inch inseam. Furlick's height would prove to be an asset for his future Olympic event. But when he first got to Michigan as a highly recruited state high school champion from Minnesota, he wasn't sure what race would be the best fit. He found it his sophomore year when Michigan needed another guy to run the steeplechase. 3,000 meters, five barriers, and a water pit. As soon as the gun went off, like I found like I had this rhythm over the barriers, and maybe it helps being 6'4 with really long legs. But you know, as other guys are like fading over the lighter stages of the race, I'm like surging ahead and I end up winning the race in 850, which at the time was the fastest time in the conference. And the coach call, calls me over afterwards like, I think we found your event. And uh, yeah, from then on, I was kind of hooked. Furlick was a natural and soon became the one to beat, not just in the Big Ten. He won the NCAA title in 2016 after an undefeated senior season. He hoped then for an Olympic berth. I ran to Olympic trials and was fifth there for the Rio Games. And, you know, they take top threes. And, you know, so I was one of the first guys to miss out, but I was also the youngest guy in the field. That left four years, which turned into five, to try for the goal again. Furlick stayed in Ann Arbor after graduation, working as a research engineer in the sports science lab at Michigan. Eventually deciding to pursue his PhD in statistics, he just finished his first year. People might think that was crazy, but maybe the timing worked perfectly where everything was online, so I had the flexibility of you know when I could study. Initially, the postponed Olympics were a disappointment, but Furlick says the pandemic provided a chance for him to rest and reset. I came out of the 2020 in the best spot I've ever been physically and mentally. He ran a personal best in the steeplechase in his first race back out. He credits his training partners, Hobbs Kessler, Nick Willis, and Mitchell Black for keeping him honest. This past seven, eight months he's been training with us and he comes down with, with Nick and, and he just needed a little cohesiveness into, into a group of people who are equal to his ability. They're all kind of equal ability, so they, they, help, they feed off each other. Coach Ron Warhurst said the Olympics were always the goal for Furlick this year. At the Olympic trials last month, the dream became a reality when he finished third. The instant I crossed that finish line, it was this like wave of relief and just realization that I had done it. You know, you work so long with this, so, this goal that sometimes feels completely intangible and out of reach. <laughs> and then the last 40 meters of that race is I'm coming down to the finish line and I can hear the crowd roaring and I know I'm in that third spot and I know I'm going to finish third. It was like just this holy crap, I did it.